Okay, um, moral of the story. This story has many little morals along the way that you hopefully be able to pick up. But I chose to latch on to the fact that Shasta, who is the lead character, undergoes all these hardships. He's an orphan, he gets beaten, he you know, he goes into the desert, gets chased by lions, he gets he gets left behind, he has you know, he undergoes all this hardship and he actually says it and says, I am the most unfortunate boy in the whole world. And um, when he finally meets Aslan, who is the central figure of it all, he finds out that all his perceived pers uh, misfortunes were not misfortunes. They were steps on the way to his growth. So each trial was a bump up, character building, moving him forward towards his glory. And during this whole journey, Aslan was with him. Aslan knew where he should go, was fate was guiding him there, pushing, scaring, but he would go into the place where he should be until he finds out who he is. That's the theme that I chose to latch on. And that is the story of Shangsta. No matter what misfortunes you go through, God or Aslan is always there with you. So you can't get lost as long as you remember that. So that's the central theme. Uh, there are several others. I mean, there's several other people taking the journey with Shasta. Arabis has her own uh, journey. Hers is more self, well, but all the, all the journeys are Shasta wants to find out who he is. Arabis is escaping. Uh, her dad wants her to marry someone she doesn't want to get married to, so she wants to be free. She wants to find her freedom. Bree and uh, Wynne, the two horses, just want to go home. They want to go home uh, where they grew up, where life was a lot better for them. So everyone grows, goes on a journey and everyone grows as they go on the journey, but in different ways. It's actually a very mature story. It's not just a children's story. Children will be able to watch it and see the fairy tale in it. But adults can watch it and see that it's a much bigger, deeper story than just a mere fairy tale. I guess that's what attracts me to it. The other thing also is that of all C.S. Lewis books, it's not written like a children's story. The language is, for lack of a better word, more flowery, uses bigger words. It's more adult. So uh, that was a challenge and we tried to bring that in. Because one of our purposes is people are so used to musicals that we have stopped listening to words. And uh, since this was a, a book that was well written based on its words, I thought, yeah, that's a great challenge. How do you make people listen that the words are important? Uh, and it's also a challenge for the actors because actors usually in a musical, uh, you don't have to think of nuance. Because once it's romantic, you just sing the song, and it's romantic. But when you're saying straight dialogue, and you have to be romantic, that's a lot more acting required. Because it can be in a look, in a gesture, in the inflection of your voice, because you don't rely on the music. So we all thought, Jaime and I thought, that would be a great challenge for the actor, as well as for the writer. How do you make, make it come out without bursting into I was trying to uh, write a play that you could do small or you could do big. However, it was very difficult because you have to think in terms of you have, you have two life-size horses that are going to be ridden for a great part of the story by two human beings. So, in effect, just 
even if you had a bare stage and you had these two horses and two human beings riding on the back, it's still epic. I mean, you didn't have to do very much after that. Yeah, and it is an epic adventure because you go through three lands, you go, you ride through deserts, up mountains. You have four battles. How can four battles not be epic? Expect great costumes, which we will have. Expect, expect great acting because we have a great cast. We're very, very good. Uh, expect great scenery. I mean, production quality. Expect the usual high standard of trumpets gives you in any production. But expect this to be different because it's an experiment. Not a musical, but with music. Enough music to carry, I mean, but music is incidental to the words. Expect to, be, to listen. I mean, expect to listen. Don't go in there and, you know, just be ready to amend, I don't expect to listen, be ready to listen. A lot of the action is in the words. It's in the story. Hi, I'm Luna Inongshan and I am the scriptwriter for this adaptation of C.S. Lewis' The Porcelain's Boy and we'd like to invite you to come and see the show. It's going to be a great show, an epic ride if you'd like, a great journey definitely at the Maralto Theatre starting November 6th. Come join us!